Okay, my peeps. We all know, very sweet face, you know where it is, right? Chef Champion Kitchen. And first and foremost, guys, you know what this is, right? Please, guys, Jamaica, the world, please follow all COVID protocols. Keep safe and keep your family safe. Wear your mask, you leave your house. Wear your mask, you leave your car. Please, wear your mask all the time. Very important. And sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Okay? Now today, today we'll be using yellow yam to make uh, vegetarian. Okay? At times, often, often times, we, 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 we tend to steer away from, from yellow yam and always steaming it or roasting it. Okay? So today, we're going to be using yellow yam to make a uh, vegetarian, which is going to be a uh, yellow yam cheddar tower served with a chunky tomato sauce. Okay? So first, we're going to follow, of course, our proper breading procedure, which is flour, egg wash, which I'm going to use some fresh egg to beat it, to make it, and of course, our bread crumbs. We'll be using vegetables in our chunky tomato today, such as garlic, scallion, which we call green onion, thyme, and of course the tomato. We will be serving also a spicy sauce on the side, just for some of those people who like the stuff spicy. When you're breaking your eggs, it's always good to break it in a different container rather than to make, break it in the main container which you're going to beat your eggs. So you can see if one of them are spoiled. Which I already peeled my yam. I did that prep already. Sorry if you, anyone out here that don't know to peel a yam. Okay? But I think it's quite simple, quite straightforward. I think you need some bigger gloves or something. Let me just quickly beat this up for you guys. Have it ready. In breading, it's always good to season all three steps through to ensure that your product is well seasoned. Today I'll be using some garlic salt. Of course, mix with some chopped thyme. This is my product. I said before, our yam is already peeled. Take away all of that heavy skin from it. I'm using a cutter to shake my yam. You don't have to. If you want, you can, you can keep it rugged, you can keep it rough. You can keep it looking rustic. I'm looking for a clean cut. And again, the pieces, you don't have to throw the piece away. 
you can keep them while while you're doing some frying. You can you can season them, bread them, and the kids will love them. Same as you have potato chips. It's very nice to eat. So no need to throw the garbage. Try not to break them. Be careful. And again. So you get some nice piece like this. And you must be wondering, how do I get my yam? I peel it, I have it, it's not getting black. I put a little salt in the water. The salt also in aid of flavor and also in aid of ensuring the yam doesn't get discolored. Okay, you just quickly take them from the water very quickly. Give them a quick shake, not too much. It's always good if you have two summer doing breading, but small stuff like this, you know, you can use one hand to do the flour and the egg and you can use one hand to do the breadcrumbs to ensure they don't get both hands messy you want to ensure that you completely spread it evenly Get the flour evenly over it. Same with the egg wash. Get it in. Of course, it's your bread crumbs. As I said, try to get it bread evenly. And you can use whatever bread crumbs you prefer. Watch your brand. You can also make it at home if you like. You have leftover bread, you can make it at home also. Our breading process is finished. You can see a nice little bread, evenly bread right around. This time we're going to ensure we preheat our deep fryer. Again, very quickly, uh, our deep fry has been created, our oven has been created. Is, um, I'm going to use the oven, reason why. I'm um, use the oven to finish off my product, which is the tower. If you have a salamander, you can use salamander just to get that cheese melted. Okay? So I'm just going to cut the onions and the tomatoes very quickly, very simple sauce.
Okay, good. Uh, onion ready, tomato ready, scallion. Of course, the time is ready. So the pot is nice and hot. So now I'll be using uh, some coconut oil just to get the flavor into it. I'm going to spread this uh, onion and garlic all off. I'm not going to let it uh, get it colored. I'm just going to spread it off translucent. Clear. And here I'm getting some beautiful, some beautiful aroma from the garlic, onion, and the coconut oil. You can see, get those tomatoes in. And we're going to cook those too. I want to have a little bit of sourness to the sauce. A little bit of garlic salt. I'm just going to sweat this off for a couple minutes. Three, four minutes, get it sweat off. And then we're going to move on. I'm going to add to it a little bit of homemade tomato sauce also. Good. You can see how it's coming together. You can see the tomatoes breaking down. At this stage, I'm gonna add some of my homemade tomato sauce. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to let it sweat again for the next five minutes. Very important at this stage to put on low heat. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see it comes together nicely. I'm going to have my thyme and my scallions. We always chop them out. Yeah. I want to check for flavor. I'm just going to leave this to sweat for the next three to four minutes. Have the tomatoes break down a little bit. This sort of fry is ready. Sock. 
put this in. I'm just gonna use a boat basket. You can use one basket, there's only four pieces. I'm using a boat basket. Good. And in the meantime, I'm gonna cut tomatoes to go between our tower. Now, I'm using Roma tomato, plum tomato, reason why. The Roma tomato is sweeter. So you wanna I wanna get that sweetness in between the the yam. So I choose to use the Roma. It's much better than sweeter than a six by six tomato. Okay, let's check on the sauce, see how far the sauce is. As you can see, the tomatoes are breaking down. You can see the tomato breaks down and it builds its own juice inside, right? And that's what we're looking for. So let me try this. Perfect, that's what I'm looking for. So the sauce is ready. Let's check on our yam. Just gonna put this napkin. Just to get rid of the excess. Just get rid of all the excess oil from it. There we go. Nice and crispy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is going to. Put the sauce on it. Get some moisture. Gonna put our cheese. Okay. Get some sauce. Gonna put our cheese. Try it at all times to make it straight. Again. Got it. There, just checking. And a little too much sauce. Put our cheese. I'm gonna put a score inside to keep it straight. So when it's in the oven, it doesn't Put away. There you go. There we go. Ensure that your oven is already preheated. Okay. Make it nice. Okay. Let's check our product. Yeah, all good.
I know you must be you guys must be wondering what is I'm using I'm using some honey some real Jamaican bees eye honey a little bit sweet on my plate. Try to maintain the shape. Sure, there's a slide off. Go. I'm just going to stir the sauce on the side. Just gonna put our sauce right there. There we go. Very simple ish. Again, this is our yellow yam, our regular yellow yam that we steam at home and eat, our roast and eat. We use it to make our vegetarian today. Our vegetarian today is yellow yam cheddar tower. Cheddar as in cheddar cheese tower. Okay, I will serve it with a nice chunky amount of sauce. In the sauce, of course, we have some shaved garlic as you can see, skeleton and thyme, and of course we put some put on it also, into it also, and let it season. For the spicy lovers, for the spicy lovers over here, you can see the blender. Let me take it all over, closer. So this is for the spicy lovers, and this is scotch bonnet pepper, vinegar, garlic, scallion, and we blend this together. Now this is very hot. It's very hot. And this is for the spicy lovers, so you can serve this on the side along with it. So here we go. As you can see, the cheese, nice to melt, get a little crisp on it, a little color. This is good, in adding flavor. The sauce is perfect, and of course, again, for the spice lovers, the guys who love the spice, here you go. So you can serve with either the tomato sauce, the chunky tomato sauce, or you can serve it with both or on the side. Again guys from Chef Champion, to you, keep safe, peace out.